Today we've been doing a little bit of work with Target and uh, creating some dashboards that are connected directly to the new Dynamics AX 2012 cubes that get delivered with the product. I thought they were pretty cool so I thought I'd show some of them and also show why Target is such a good tool for user reporting. The main benefit of Target is that you can have a dashboard here that shows a lot of different information. Then all of this information is going to be connected. So here I've went out and I created a dashboard that shows the top 10 customers, the top 10 products, and also the sales trend over time. I can, as a user, could go into here and I could compress this down. If I'm just interested in the quarterly sales, then I could click on that. If I want to see the daily sales, then I could expand this out down to the day. Sometimes looking at this information as a graph may be just a little bit to summarize because we can't really get down to the raw information. So don't worry about that. If you go over to here to the toggle option for the chart, then that will take us down to all of the raw information that made up that chart. Also, I could go into here and I could go into the data option. And I could tell the system that I want to export this information out to Excel. So anytime I see information here within the dashboard, I can just simply go and grab it and export it out. Also, as just a side note, if I really like the chart that I've got here, then I could also go up to here, I could copy this, I could go into Excel or PowerPoint or Word or whatever I may want to do. I could paste in that chart. So for presentations or reports, if you want to just summarize information, grab out some information and then highlight it to people, then it's very easy to share this information with users or people that don't even use Target at all. So if we're here inside of the dashboard, then something else that's useful is that we anytime you filter or click on information here, so I'm showing the top 10 customers and products and sales over time, I can click on a customer and now I'm going to see just the products that they purchased and also their sales trend over time. I could choose another customer or I could hold down the control key and choose a number of customers. I could also choose the high-end speakers here and see the sales trend for those customers for the high-end speakers. If I use this fast forward button, then that's going to do a little bit of simple projection and show me the sales in this case for the next couple of years. And I could even extend it out to add another year on top of that. So very easily I can filter information out. I can filter multiple areas and then just show some date or sales trend information here within the system. There's a, another item or way that you can filter the information out as well, which is, say for example, I wanted to compare the sales for 2008 and 2007 by customer. Then I could just drag and drop this up here and expand this out. And now what we've got is we've got sales for the 2007 sales and the 2008, and we can show a comparison of how the sales are trending. I could do this by quarter, I could do it by month, I could do it uh, by product if I wanted to, just by dragging and dropping the individual items like this. So that, that's pretty neat and that's a, that's a nice way to add some additional analysis that then again we can go out and query as a table form. While I'm in here, I can do what's I can add what's called an intelligent agent. And I could add a progress bar here so that, for example, I could see what's above average and what's below average very quickly and very visually. Now, if I go back to my other view that I've had here, as a user, you also have the ability to go and change these dashboards. So say I want to not just look at the top 10 products, but maybe I want to see all of the sales broken out by group. Then... I can go out and tell the system that I want to create a duplicate of this dashboard here. I'm going to push this down to the bottom so that we've got four panels here. And then rather than look at this by product, I'm going to choose from the fields that we can report off. And notice here that the 
fields are more English-like rather than, and you don't need to know what table these are coming from or really any technical information. All I need to know is that I want the, uh, actually I don't want that, I want the product group. And now I've got sales by product group. So for a user, this is very simple to do. I can change this if I want to into a pie chart and also maybe make this a 3D chart and then add a legend and I can plump this down on the bottom so that now I could see all of the different groups here as a pie chart and I can just click on them and filter the information out easily within this dashboard. Now if this is a dashboard that you use all the time then as a user you can go out and you can save this. And you can save this to the shared area if you have privilege or I can save it to my personal area. And now I have a report here that I can open up, which is my personal version of the report. But also I could go down to here and I can always get back to the standard version of the report that everyone has access to. The data hasn't changed, just the, um, the additional panel that I've put on here that I use in my day-to-day -day, um, life. Now one other item that we haven't talked about is this area along the top because one of the problems with reports is that people want to slice and dice this information in a number of different ways. So what we have up here is a criteria bar. The criteria bar allows us to go and filter out information. But say for example there's something that we want to report off that isn't up here in the criteria bar like that uh, product group that we had before. Then rather than add a uh, gauge here in the dashboard, I can just go and tell the system that I want to add this to the criteria bar and now I could go out and I could filter out by all of the home theater systems. And I do that here very very easily and very quickly and now now again this is my custom view and I could save it if I want to. Now if I'm interested in this, say for example I'm looking at Pelican wholesalers then I can do some other things here. For example, I can tell the system to notify me. And I can say when Pelican wholesalers, when the sales amount changes by more than 5%, and I want to check this every day, then deliver it to the administrator account. So what I've done is I've created a simple queer, simple tickler that is going to continually run and requery and requery until it reaches that 5% mark. And then when that happens, it's just going to send me an email. So these are, what well, if you're interested in something, then just set up a reminder and then forget about it and the system will do the rest for you. So we went out and created some, uh, or modified a dashboard here, but maybe we want to go and create a new dashboard. We can do that easily just by creating an analysis and using the wizard. So say for example here I want to look at the uh, invoice line amount and maybe I create that dashboard that I had before and maybe I want to look at this by customer group and maybe I want to look at this by product group and then again look at this by date or we'll look at this uh, by year, quarter, month again so the system has gone out and created a simple dashboard. Then we can just go and change these to whatever format we want. And if I get rid of the legend, if I move these around, if I change these, so that for example, I get rid of 3D and gradient, maybe I put in some color coding here, then very quickly I can go out and I can create a simple dashboard. Also what you can do is you could create sort of like some ad hoc query analysis. And here I could go and I could look at, again, customer. And I'll look at this by customer group. And then from the uh, panel over here, then I can see what do I want to report off. And in this case, I'll look at uh, the invoice amount, fetch this data. So now we've got a simple report by group. I could go out and redefine this. I could add the date to the top. And now I've got a simple dashboard. So if I added some gauges here, 
then I can very easily see who are the major customers, who's purchasing the most, and who's purchasing the least, and when they purchase the product. I could even go into here and extend this out a little bit. I could duplicate it. If I go and put the date down here, then I could change this into a line chart and expand this out. So now I've got uh, sales and tabular form and also I've got sales in a graphical form and all it takes is just a little bit of tidying up and you can have some very elaborate dashboards. Now dashboards aren't the only way that you can create reports. I can also just create more traditional reports and that uh, report has a number of different uh, or a couple of features that you can take advantage of. So say if I want to create a report showing the average days late by customer, then I've just created a simple report here. I could filter this out so that I only want to see items where the dates are, the days late are above zero. But I can save this, and I'll save it away to my personal area. And now what I can do is I can schedule this report. So I've got my customer's date late report. I can save it off as a PDF document. I could email it to the administrator. And I could have it sent out every morning at 6 o'clock. So now that I've set this up, the user doesn't even have to log into Target to do the analysis. This is just going to run every day, and it's going to deliver this email to their inbox. And that's it. So those are some of the uh, features within Target. Um, just a couple of the uh, dashboards that I created in just an hour or so. So I hope this is useful and I hope everyone likes the dashboards. Now one other feature that I'll show here is this comes from this dashboard here. This is a little bit different from the other dashboards that I had and that I've got a, a map here showing me the sales and uh, if I hover over these and select them, then it will show me, for example, where this is in Massachusetts and there's around about $3 million or nearly $4 million worth of sales. But I've because everything's linked together, then I can click on this. And now when I click on, for example, the product group, the DVR product group, then we can see that the DVRs are only being sold in some regions. I could go out and choose the retail customers and find out where all the retail customers are grouped within the uh, map or where the major customers are. Now in addition I've done one other thing here which is I've told the system that when I click on any of these items here on the map that it goes out and it will drill through into a sub-report which is the profitability analysis. So it's filtered this out and it's just showing me the information that I selected. But now we can see what the margins are. Uh, we can see what the cost of goods sold were. And if I wanted to go back to the report, I can just click on that. And I could go and choose another area and I could see what the products were that were sold in that area and also what the customers were. So this is an important point because what you can do is you can drill through from any report down to any sub-reports and you can have as many layers on these reports as you like. So that's a little bit of an overview of Target. I created um, very quickly just a handful of dashboards, but keep in mind all of these dashboards come directly from the standard delivered cubes within Dynamics AX 2012. So I didn't, there's no development, it was really just the designing of the reports. So I hope, hope this is useful and I hope everyone uh, likes Target as much as I do.